I'm Bruce Kibo, MMA Confidential, out here in Huntington, Long Island, at Sarah Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Matt Sarah just opened up this place a couple of months ago. Let's go check it out. This school was nice. I love this. is my uh, This is my baby right here. You know, this is a martial arts Disneyland, but you can see from the cage to... You know, we have two classes going on at once. We got an uh, advanced gi, a beginner uh, gi, and before that, we had our no gi classes. We have Muay Thai at 830. We have a certain conditioning class after that. I mean, it's just, it's a martial arts Disneyland, man. It's, it's beautiful, bro. I can't wait for my next fight. I'm going to do my whole training camp here. Who do you want to fight next? Uh, you know what, man? I I wanted to be a major, a major player, and uh, at this stage of the game, it's uh, do or die, you know? Just, you give me a guy that's just a, everybody in there is, not only beatable, but could give you fits. So why not go for the gusto? You know what I mean? Make make uh, make another shot for it. What is it you love about training uh, guys? Uh, you know what I mean. We got guys coming in here. If, if you if you look around the, the room, you know we got we got guys that are that that, that become champ became champions and everything from the Monday L's to the Pan Ams to guys that, like Pete Dragosel, Luke Cuomo, that we took them all the way up to the UFC. You know what I mean? So uh, not a lot of schools could really say that. And not only that, I like teaching the average heads. I like teaching the guys that came in here and dropped 100 pounds. That a guy that was afraid of his own shadow is now not walking around like Billy Badass, but feels confident. You can see his swagger change. You can see he's more confident. And that comes through training. And for us to be able to give that, it's just a gift and it's, and it's a, it's a great life, man. I, I love it, you know? It, I know what it did for my life, you know what I mean, and my family's life. You have a little girl, you're married. Oh, uh, are you gonna, devote, you, you gonna devote your life to fighting still, or what's gonna be the story? Well, you know, my wife wants a few, so, you know, my daughter Angelina, she's here, and it's funny, man, you know, they say kids change it. I used to do the Wolverine, where my, I finished a guy and my claws pop out. I won my last fight, I'm doing, baby, yeah, yeah, baby, I love you, what the hell was that about? I didn't even plan that, it just came out. But, uh, you know, man, no, my little girl is my world, and uh, my wife wants more, so how could I pass up an opportunity to do something I love and get kid college fun for my kids, you know what I mean? I'm living the dream. When I'm not fighting, I'm doing what you guys are seeing here. I'm not just drinking Starbucks and heckling people, I actually show some jiu-jitsu. I'm training, having a great time. Go home, you know, it's a husband, father, cage fighter. What does it feel like to train with uh, Matt Serra and how long have you been training here? Uh, I've been training here about two years now and um, the whole thing is is that uh, training with him is like a kind of like a dream because uh, it's such a highly regarded camp and uh, also you know, to be honest he's just such a great guy. Him and Nick and James Gabert and Ray Longo are all just a great you know, uh, set of instructors to have and um, just training here is just it, it's the complete package uh, basically I come from a martial arts background of jiu-jitsu boxing and kickboxing and um, just coming here put it all together for me and it will put it into perspective of you know where I want to go if I want to go to the, to the next level um, that's basically what I have to do I have to get involved with the proper camp and what are the some of the highlights of your career uh, Matt you've been fighting for quite a while it's all, you see the saying on the wall, I don't know if the cameraman, could you get that over there? Victory belongs to the most persevering. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about the journey. You know what I mean? I had a great, the wins, the losses, the ups and downs, that's what makes your character. You know? And that's also similar to what Henzo said. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. Oh, that's true, bro, and I've been both. And that, and, and that made, and if you just won all the time and, and didn't lose, uh, it would make me half the instructor I am. A lot of times I teach a class, my best classes are usually after I lose a fight. Not that I plan on losing again, but I started off with, guys, this is what I should have done the other night, you know? Well, what would you be doing if you weren't a fighter and, uh, and training people? Oh, man, it's funny. My school in Long Island over here in East Meadow, my high school, they, my, my, it was across the street from the Nassau County Jail. They used to pull up the blinds and go, Mr. Seri, see where your fists are going to land you? That's exactly, you keep on going. They didn't know that they'd make it a sport sooner or later, but hey, you know what they know. However long he remains in the sport, Matt Sayre will remain one of the most colorful and talented veterans in MMA. I'm Bruce Kibo, MMA Confidential, and we'll see you at the fights.
Want more? Go to InnocentTV.com to connect with the world of sports. Real-time updates, blog postings, and all the action you can handle in a sec. InnocentTV.com, connecting you to the world of sports.